What's happening? What's happening, La Familia? We back in this thing with another one, man. And y'all already know, man. Before we get started, let's do our rounds. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and turn post notifications on to all. That way you will be notified every time we drop a video. And if you're really rocking with the game, drop a share. But we got the big spinner, man. You know, the general, man. Big TBG, man. Y'all already know, man. My boy Seven Hardaway, man. May my guy rest in peace, man. But we got some more content. We got to come back with Seven Hardaway, man. And on the cool, let me say this, man, before we get started. Myself and a few of our family members, as well as a few of Seven Hardaway's family members, we are putting together a huge production for Seven Hardaway. Something special, man. Something special, man. And I'm, I'm just asking. And I don't care if you're a 4K Trey fan or what side of everything you are on or what you listen to. Just support, man. Just support. Just show that we can come together as a people to support our people. We can support the ones who achieve greatness. The ones that deserve that respect. Regardless of what side you want. Seven Hardaway was somebody to respect. He was real authentic. He was who he said he was. And that in itself deserves respect. But let's go ahead and get to these topics though, man. First and foremost, we got the NBA side, man. As we got that man, NBA Chopper Boy. As NBA Chopper Boy put up a message towards his family, it says, to all my loved ones that felt like I've changed up. Uh, I, I guess he meant felt or feel like. I cannot be an umbrella through anyone's storm. You have to go through your own storm. All I can tell you is it's going to get better and pray. Like y'all told me when I didn't have it. I was a real dude, but now I'm fake. I changed up. Shake my head. Every dude that I F with, we talk every day. And the ones that was really loyal paid in with me right now. He paid and are with me right now. That's what he kind of meant, man. And they don't ever got to go back to Baton Rouge again. It's easy to get up when you fall because you can't do nothing but get up. You are already on the ground. But when you at the top, it's hard to stay up. You got to come down for people needing gas. Little sis, lights off. All type of stuff. So... That man, Chopper Boy, man, was pretty much sending a message towards his family, man, for everybody who been talking down on him and talking crazy or whatever, man. Normal things that you go through whenever you start to hit some fame or whatever, people start to feel like you faking when you don't want to do everything for them. When you start to develop that spirit of no, because you can't, because it's going to hinder you as well as them, they start to feel like you faking, man. Just normal things that we see. On a daily basis, man. But it's happening to Chopper Boy now, man. Let's go ahead and move on. Next up, we got that man, Who Gang Tay. And y'all already know who Who Gang Tay is, as we spoke about him a few times on the channel. One of uh, Ben 10's young generals out of his camp and whatnot. As he sends a message back to TG Commas. You know, uh, the video that we posted earlier with TG Commas said, You dudes always got our Johnsons in your mouth. It's early in the morning. You ain't even brushed your teeth. You already got my Johnson in your mouth, directing that towards NBA Ben 10 and NBA Ben 10 going on live, going on his story, saying he was outside looking for the bleeders or whatever. Allegedly, let me say that this is all for entertainment purposes. These men are not doing any criminal activity. Now, 
who gang taste says dudes keep our johnson's in their mouth most of you dudes never seen nothing die for real female a dog a female dog and then says it's still up behind Juan. i can't wait to pin some so as y'all can see man that man who gang tay getting highly disrespectful with that post towards the bleeders and he also uh puts this up on his story how about they put me out the ball shot my sixth dude could push but that ain't even what i want to talk about but look man ain't this open carry state and then these black people you better act like they you know what's going on i'm gonna feel like you're trying to get me i'm bringing my sixth day well i ain't going he said he got kicked out the barbershop for bringing his tool in the barbershop man he felt like they was trying to set him up with that because they probably know what's going on or whatever but hey man hey they trying to they got a policy they got to uphold so it is what it is but let's go ahead and move on and next up we got that man bbg baby joe as bbg baby joe puts out this little cryptic message towards the opposition that came by way of a movie and the part says it's where he paused it on the captions it says no no i'll handle that dude myself you know what i'm saying and baby joe goes ahead and captions it under that hashtag on my kids it ain't no going back down from here with like the little tongue sticking out and the little wow with the x's over his eyes emoji and that was definitely a shiggity directed at Seven Hardaway, man. He getting disrespectful, but real cryptically with it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that one. And let's go ahead and move on. And next up, we got the main topic of the video, man. And I know to y'all, it seems weird to see Block underscore BBG, Big BBG, and Seven Hardaway name right behind that, man. Shocked me when I seen it. I had to rub my eyes a few times and make sure I was seeing what I was seeing. But on a cool, that is BBG Block, Baby Joe's big brother, and that is Seven Hardaway's official page. And these men were talking as of November of last year. And this is what they said. Block writes him and said, how the F can I hate y'all's success? And Seven Hardaway responds with, huh, what you mean? And you know, uh, I guess Block hearted it or Seven hearted it because the heart is great, so it might have been seven the heart of it. Block responds, I hate where we stand, not y'all succeeding. And seven responds, yeah, I feel you, blood. It's effed up, but you know who fault that is. With You know, they both hearted the post. Basically uh, saying they agreeing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they agreeing. You see them men talking like men. Block then captions it with, seven was a cool dude. One thesey a pure B word. Effed up how it happened, but you know who fault that is 100 you know what i'm saying so i mean it, it was kind of like a backwards compliment in a way you know what i'm saying but block bro you should have just left it at that man on the coup i can't even lie bro expose the messages and just say you know seven was a cool dude man i ain't got nothing towards him not even direct anything at these you said what you had to say bro let enough be enough man you know what i'm saying like, I feel like you are the only one on your side who has enough pull to be able to stop your youngest, man, and let them know that this got to end. You feel me? But on the cool, man, that wasn't it from Block, as Block also goes on to say, at the end of the day, my foes point down. Big old, big old BBG with the zip lip. Then he goes on to say, I'll take Sosa to WAR. If you know Tony, F all y'all that man block is feeling how he feeling you know because his cousin and all his partners that been trolled as well man but like we always say somebody has to say enough is enough at least on the wax somebody got to step up and kill the disrespect and the deceased man somebody got to get rid of that but let's go ahead and move on fam spare time chopper boy just dropped a new diss song towards the opposition for seven hardaway it's called Nation Business. And this is a TBG affiliate as well, man. This is one of their partners, man. Y'all go check it out on his channel, Chopper Boy, man. Spelled like y'all seen it right there. And uh, 
Let me know what y'all think about it. But let's go ahead and move on. But next up, we got that man Fredo Bang. As Fredo Bang pretty much, you know, put out a video with him and Seven Hardaway reminiscing and whatnot, man. Missing his brother, man. Missing his partner, man. You know what I'm saying? Then uh, we got 94 Hancho as 94 Hancho also puts out this pic of Seven Hardaway, man. Reminiscing about his brother as well. You know what I'm saying? And then we got that man Cleasy 5 as Cleasy 5 finally comes out and puts up an old pic of him at 7. It says UNLV under the, the bottom of the post with a caption. But then we got a new uh, song coming by way of that man One Theezy. And it's his feelings towards the Seven Hardaway situation. And also letting it be known, you know, things don't come without consequences, allegedly. Y'all check this out. This time I'm solo, I'm solo. Free my blood, Osama. Free my young and yo-yo. I can't believe that man Osama's still locked up. But yeah, free that man yo-yo too, 100. They know I picked the city, read my body, come over, folks. Chop out at the red light and let this drink go. You can hear and feel the pain and anger in his voice in this one. Man, I'm on the ass. These niggas know I'm down to crash. These niggas kill my fucking dog. Man. Man, rest in peace, man. Rest in heaven and seven water away. Long live, my guy. And why the fuck they fuck with that? Like, I ain't come and get my shake back. Now, everybody gon' get wet. Trying to drop seven for seven. Bring that pressure, 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 pressure. That man says seven for seven. It's that shit that make it. That one sound like it's gonna be dope, easy. 100, 100. But then, man, we got that man, TBG Montana. As TBG Montana puts up a post for his brother. As he says, I love you. And then says, what's good about life when all your closest partners dead? Actually, it's the living alone with the memories part that's torture. And death would be appreciated for the bus fare to the family reunion. William P. Hobby Airport. Well, that's just the location of where they was at. Say, man, I know the feeling, my guy. But, hey, don't let those memories torture you. You got to allow those memories to be the reason you smile. Allow those memories to bring you back to those moments, man. When you enjoy time with your brother, man. Allow those to be the guiding force and the reason why you're going to keep his name alive. You know what I'm saying? Not only because of who he was, but because of what he meant to you and every second that y'all spent with each other, brother. Real talk. But then he goes on to say, I wish you could see just how big your music impact the world, brother. You a legend now, dude. Your name and music gonna be here forever. You like Tupac. Now I know how dark feel. Man, man, that's sad, bro. Real talk, bro. My heart go out to you, brother. Keep your head up, man. Real talk. But then he also goes ahead and puts up this video with him and Seven, man. We That was my boy J1 right there, man. Just like the little ending of that uh that song right there, man. Y'all need to go tap in with my boy J1, man. Most definitely a talented guy, man. Don't sleep on him. Next on the rise, coming by way of TBG. 
But on the cool, man, y'all seen, man, went easy, let it be known how he felt. And everybody let it be known how they felt, man. And, uh, man, this man, Seven Hardaway, was a monumental, I mean, monumental figure amongst his people. It was somebody to really look up to and look at for guidance. Truly, the man that he said he was, with no if, ands, or buts. Someone that you gotta definitely respect, while also being immensely, and I do mean immensely, talented. And one thing I do wanna say, man, to TBG Montana, you know, I know we ain't talk very much, man, but just the short conversations that we had, I could see the love, the impact of the love that you had for Seven Hardaway. Not only that, but the impact that he made on your life, bro. And I will say this, bro. You have the passion for your brother to keep his name alive, without a doubt. I'm going to do my part over here, though, man, because I feel I owe that to Seven. But I respect the position and how you came at me. While you respected my position and understanding I delivered this news and what's going on, you understood that, bro. And you understood that even though it wasn't something that was positive towards Seven in the situation because it came from people that didn't, that weren't re very fond of him. Let me put it like that. You understood that, you know, it wasn't my viewpoints. It was just me presenting it to the people. But the passion that you had for your brother you know, and telling me like, bro, you know, that type of stuff, man, hey, you let me know how it made you feel directly, bro. And I respect that, bro. As a man, you came to me as a man with respect, even though you are in pain. You know what I'm saying? It takes it takes a real man to be in pain, not all the way himself because something is hurting and affecting him to still use his mind and speak as a man with respect bro and i got nothing but respect for you homie and that's just 100 man when it comes to seven like i said man i'm gonna do my part to keep his name alive i'm gonna drop this production man and hopefully hopefully that production is the biggest video by far on this channel and something that y'all truly like man something that y'all truly gravitate towards and y'all appreciate man because i'm gonna make sure that I take my time and make this one for the ages, man. Rest in heaven to my boy Seven Hardaway, man. On the cool. And may all his family keep their head up. Real talk. You know, I know that ain't much. Me saying keep your head up. But I mean that in the most humble way. I mean that in the most supportive way. I mean that in a way of let the world know how special of a person Seven Hardaway was, man. Real talk. But on the cool, man, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon. And all praise be to the most high. Peace and blessings, kings and queens. With that being said, I'm out. Believe it up.